now that we know how we can link properties together, we can go into more interesting things about Kiwi. So for example, let's say about, I'm going to combine these two uh, topics into one. So for example, uh, if I want this box layout, the background to have a certain color, I would have to say canvas so I can draw on it and I would say canvas I would s I would give it a color so for example I would say that it ha it is an RGBA color and I would uh, if I want it green or blue let's go with blue I would say that uh, R is here equals to zero green equals zero blue is one and alpha is one so alpha is the transparency I want it to be fully opaque with no, without transparency, so I would say that it has 100% of the color, right? And then I will also tell it to draw something. In this case, I wanted to draw a rectangle. And then I would say that the position of the rest of the rectangle is the same as the position of the widget, and that the size of the rectangle is the same as the size of the widget and we can see how this affects everything else yes yeah, you can see the widget now has a blue background if we can make it even more fancy it's not like it's fancy at all but whatever we can give it some padding about 20 units and this will give it some padding so that we can see the background and some spacing, we can do some spacing as well this will give some spacing between the widgets uh, another size of 20 is, is fine for this I guess so every time that I would have, that I would want to make a box layout that has a color I would have to declare the same thing, right? so I would have to go box layout and then I would have to say canvas And then we have to say color and whatever. So this is this is not really programmatical, right? We're we're programmers. We're going to make our work easier. So let's find a way to do this. So for example, uh, we are going to declare a custom class that, that does this for us. In this case, we're going to do it in the main.py file because I'm giving us I'm going to give it a special property. So from kv.uix.box layout I'm going to import box layout and then I'm going to import from properties from kiwi.properties I'm going to make give it a custom property that is going to be a list property okay this property corresponds to this one right here it's going to be a list because it's zero zero one one right so it's a list then I'm going to declare the class so I'm going to say class back background box layout and it inherits from box layout it also has a property named background color that is a list property and that it has a default of 0 0 0 0 so that it has a transparent background from the back okay and then here you can say that instead of a box layout it's a background box layout we can delete all this and we can say that bg color equals to the blue so it could be uh, r g B A, but this is not enough to change the color, right? I have to I have to tell it somewhere that I want that that I want the background color to change when I change this property right here. So I would declare a rule on Kiwi to make it easier for me. I would say that all widgets that are BG box layout they will draw with the canvas. It will have a color that corresponds to self dot the name of the property we gave it that would be bg color, bg 
color mm -hmm. and that it should draw a rectangle like we told like we told it before a position of self dot position and the size of self dot size and let's see how ha what happens right here or oh, I think I can save this one okay so let's see so now we can easily change the color for example this time it is blue but if we can create if we want to create another widget in here that's a bg box layout it can have a bg color that is red so it would be red green blue alpha you can see that it will now have a widget that easily painted for us the, the background with a uh, red color this pr custom property that we changed can also can also be changed with this so let's remove this one and make it that on release it changes the color so it would be root dot bg color equals red let's make it a list because this part is python right now it would not accept, accept a, a string uh, separated by commas it, it has to be a list now so it's one one zero one to make it a red color then we can make it change the color by pressing on it okay so now it has the red color so we have now seen how to link with properties how to make custom classes how to use the canvas and how to declare content in the root widget i hope i can make a nice another tutorial soon i hope you like this one and see you guys later